In this video, we are going to show you what is included in the box with the Torque Series goggles and the basics on how to operate the camera. Peel back the strap sleeve on the right arm to expose the battery door. Slide the door locking mechanism upward to open the battery compartment. Locate the battery and find the side with the three brass contacts. Position the battery with the contacts on the bottom, then insert. To lock the door, press the door down firmly, then slide the mechanism back into place. You may also use the cross lock switch to additionally secure the battery door by sliding the lock to the right. Remove the left arm from the strap sleeve. This will expose the media compartment, buttons, HDMI port, and LCD display. On the bottom of the arm is the media door. Slide the door locking mechanism toward the front of the goggle to open the door. Here you will see the micro SD card slot and the micro USB port. Locate the micro SDHC card from its packaging and insert it into the micro SD card slot. There is a legend located next to the micro SD slot. But the easiest way to remember how to install the card is to hold the arm flat with the LCD display facing up and then insert the micro SD card with the print side facing up. The HDMI port is located at the end of the media arm. Notice there are two screws which will need to be removed in order to access the port. The HDMI port can be used to connect your TV in order to use your goggle as a media player to play back and view files stored on the micro SD card in your goggle. On top of the media arm are the buttons. Within the LCD screen facing you, the button on the right is the power slash mode button. The button on the left is the shutter slash select button. After the goggle is fully charged, press and hold the power to turn on the goggle. On the LCD display, you will see an icon for the battery, the icon for the micro SD card, the three digit number showing how many files you have in each mode. When you first turn on the goggle, it will automatically start up in 720p mode at 60 frames per second, which is also indicated with a blue light inside the goggle. If you press the power slash mode button again, it will change to 1080p at 30 frames per second with a green light in the goggle. Press the button again, you're in picture mode, which will allow you to take 12 megapixel still images. Press the power button one more time and you're in continuous photo mode, which is indicated by the purple light. The default setting for this mode is one still every two seconds. Press the power button again to go to 720p mode. One of the features that differentiates this model from last year's is the tilt lens. To access the locking mechanism of this feature, remove the face foam from the back of the goggle. Take the hex allen wrench and insert it into the hole on the back side of the frame and turn one full turn counterclockwise. You should now be able to adjust the camera from 0 to 30 degrees. To lock the camera back into place, turn the hex wrench clockwise one full turn. If you have a 369, we'll now go through a few steps to activate the Wi-Fi feature. First, with the goggle powered on, look for the blinking Wi-Fi icon in the upper left corner of the LCD display. Press and hold the shutter button for two seconds and you will hear two beeps. Now the Wi-Fi icon will remain solid, indicating that the Wi-Fi is active. For further instruction on how to connect your camera to your smartphone or other device, look for the video on the Liquid Image app. For more information, check out our other tutorial videos and be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. 